Meanwhile in a barrio in Los Angeles, 1943. Hey, how's life? You know, it's been pretty bad lately. Oh, how so? Well, you see, my brother was deployed last month and for the war, and we just recently got a letter saying that he died. Oh, oh that sucks. The war sure is a downer. Yeah, it sure is. Did you know that over 500,000 Mexican-Americans were just, uh, deployed? No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you have any family in the war? Not really. My dad and I just works at the farm. Mostly, be mostly because of the Bracero program. What's the Bracero program? Well, a lot of Mexican-American have been moving towards industrial center to help the war. You all left behind a bunch of farms. The U.S. government decided to give us Mexican a temporary contract to keep your farms. Oh, so that's what happened to the farm that my older brother used to work at. You see, one of my other brothers just went to Chicago to help build bombs for the war effort. And I always wondered, whatever happened to the farm that he used to work at? Well, now I know. So what are the wages like over there? Not so good. We're pretty much underpaid. I bet your brother gets tons of money working for... working for... The factory. Yeah, he does get a lot of money, a lot more than he did when he was working at the farm. Yeah, sure is. Uh, yeah, but hey, at least those Mexican Americans are getting more job opportunities, am I right? Yeah. Hey, do you see those white guys over there? Kind of weird that they're in a barrio, considering that they won't even let us into their towns. Yeah, they look like Marines. Huh, kind of scared. What do you think they want from us? I don't know. Oh boy. Look at those gosh darn Mexicans over there. They're up to no good. <laughs> yeah. I reckon they might be a couple of gangsters, judging by their zoot suit and all. Can't trust the people in the barrios. They might have school and churches and stuff. But the people there are just criminal and poor. Gosh darn Bill, they're looking at us. We better do something. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's teach him some lesson or two. Yeah, Phil, you go get him. What do you guys want? Well, you all gangsters seem like having a good time? <laughs> uh, gangsters? We're just a couple of pachucos. Innocent Mexican-American teenagers. I don't care. You're dirty Mexicans with zoot suits. And that's what gangsters are. And besides, I saw you breaking in and, dis and hurting people earlier. Uh, what? Not everybody who has a zoot suit is a gangster. And where did you see us breaking into people's houses? What? What? Are, are you out of your darn mind? Get out of our barrio! Well, ain't you the talker? Better come with me and know what's good for you, darn gangster. But I'm, but I'm not a gangster! I don't care! You bunch of good-for-nothing Mexican. You guys are un-American delinquents that haven't contributed to the war. Give me one good reason that I shouldn't arrest you. Because... Because not all Mexican-Americans are gangsters. My oldest brother just died in combat and my other brother is helping build weapons for the Allies. All while you Marines have decided to just heckle us innocent pachucos. Now tell me, what's more American? Nah, I'm still gonna arrest you. 